It's my role and honor to begin tonight's uh, program by introducing one of the great artists of our time, Kahindi Wiley. Just, just, just wait, you hear what you're going to hear after you get your introduction. Uh, uh, during my remarks, we hope to put a selection of Kahindi's um, uh, images from his remarkable body of work. There we go. Those of you who were here last year, this was one of our honorees last year. Uh, so have, please uh, look at that visual feast while I speak. Kahindi's work applies the visual vocabulary and historical conventions of wealth and prestige the subjects drawn from the urban fabric, creating a stunning synthesis which represents a wholly new genre of portrait painting. He borrows the classical form of portraits by European masters such as Reynolds, Gainsborough, Titian, and Angra, which are familiar to any student here who has gone to the Felg Art Museum. But into that frame he inserts, and I quote, urban black and brown men and women found throughout the world. He creates images which are, quote, juxtaposed inversions of each other, as an example, forcing ambiguity, provocation, and perplexity. As one writer put it, Candy's work, quote, inserts black males into a painting tradition that has typically omitted them or relegated them to peripheral positions. At the same time, he critiques contemporary portrayals of black masculinity itself, unquote. Behind most successful men and women is a loving mother. Kahende, who grew up in South Central LA, was, oh, you got some fans here of, uh, of South Central, huh? Was introduced to classical painting when his mother enrolled him in weekend art classes, which took him to museums such as the Huntington Art Gallery, which is one of my favorites whose collection of British 18th and 19th century portraiture gave him an early familiarity with the genre. He became, quote, keenly aware of the signifiers of power, the implications of the traditional portrait, which are about privilege, power, elitism. He was looking at a world that he was not included in. While studying at the San Francisco Art Museum at Yale, Yale, really? Okay. That's all right. <laughs> and later, painting in residence at the Studio Museum in Harlem, he would stop young African-American men on the street to ask them if they wished to pose for a portrait and allowing them to select the masterwork they would be pictured in. From those chance encounters on the street, plus the flash of the genius from his paintbrush, works of art for the ages were born. To quote my dear friend Thelma Golden, from Harlem Studio Museum, Kahende, quote, has become one of the most important artists of the moment, who's with work as relevant and resonant to the hip-hop generation as it is to high-end collectors and major museums. Another friend of mine that you might recognize, do we have his portrait up here? chose Kahindi to paint his official portrait, which was unveiled last year. President Obama chose Kahindi because his work has the capacity to elevate ordinary people to the level of royalty. The president, by the way, who sends his regards and congratulations to you, Kahindi, today, lift, says Kahindi lifted them up and gave them a platform and said they belong at the center of American life. There was something that moved me deeply. That's part of what I believe politics should be about not simply celebrating the high and mighty and expecting that the country unfolds from the top down, but rather that it comes from the bottom up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure today to present the Du Bois Medal to Kendi Wiley. Kendi, would you please come join us at the podium?
My, my. This is, um, this is an honor, obviously, beyond anything that I can measure. And it is, it's an embarrassment of riches. I'd like to thank my family, my mom, my sisters, uh, all of you who are viewers of Goodwill, people who take the time to look at a two-dimensional image and imagine that there can be something told in that. There's something about good faith going on in making pictures. It's, it's about having the trust that there is an audience out there that can understand a thing or two about the world beyond simplifications. I think more than ever, that's where we are today. I'd like to thank Harvard. I'd like to thank you all again. And I am not going to belabor this, but it is phenomenal. God bless.